Hello, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Sorry for once again being in an odd place, but NVIDIA's Shadow Play betrayed me once more. It, uh, I, I did in fact confirm this time it was recording, and it just stopped recording and bugged out somehow. Anyway, all I said was my little intro, and I determined what the task of the day is going to be, and it's going to be creating 40 seared bricks in order to get ourselves a melter and all the parts we want to go along with it. And that's a simple enough task. Our first part of that is just going to be turning some of this cobblestone into gravel. And I determined the best way to do that is simply to take it on our granite anvil and smash it into pieces. That should be a direct one-to-one -one conversion since it guarantees eight rocks every time. So that's a simple enough thing to do. Yes, tripes. Lovely food. And all we have to do is just work our way through it. Unfortunately, I don't think they're... Wait. Oh, it's a... Uh... No? I could have sworn. Stone rock. On the anvil. Over there. Yeah. That's cobblestone. Hit with hammer. Stone. Is diamond hammer too high? Is that the problem? Let's get rid of those. Huh. Do I need a stone hammer to do that? Let's, uh, let's see. That's a bizarre thing, if true. Let's see, stone hammer. Yep. No, that's not it. Was that not cobblestone that I was seeing on the table, perhaps? No, there it is. Crude flint bone. Yeah, no, no, there's flint. It was stone before iron, gold. So what's the deal? Well, that recipe seems to be mildly busted. It might be it, it might be that the recipe was removed for some reason and it's just not reflected in any eye or something. I guess I'll submit that to the Discord in a bug report or something. Well, regardless. We have ways of getting around it. It's not quite as efficient. But I think we're only going to need three crafts of uh, of grout. So it's all right if we don't have a one-to-one -one conversion. Yes, we're only going to need 48 uh, gravel. Which, I mean, that's not nothing. Let's make ourselves a pickaxe, because this one is about to go. And it's not exactly a burden to go and get another stack of cobble, if I really need to. That's interesting. Cobblestone, cobblestone. They must have different MBT data or something. Either that or the Normans are selling not cobblestone, just like the beach is made out of not sand. Now I'm curious. Is this cobblestone hammerable? No. Very interesting, regardless. This is probably faster than hammering it anyway. 
Now, one unfortunate thing is um, Shadow Play's icon is not showing, so I'm getting paranoid. Like, uh, am I still recording? Every once in a while, I might have to. Uh, Sh Shadow Play Nvidia's experience is acting a little bit odd right now. It'll. Um, it it's not showing up as a game overlay like it should. If I use any of my keyboard commands, it will go to my desktop. So occasionally today you might see a flash of my desktop where I'm getting paranoid and looking at it to make sure I'm still recording. Like, uh, like so. Yes. That will just be me feeding my rampant paranoia from time to time, making sure that Shadowplay isn't screwing up again. Well, yes, you see the conversion ratio on this one is quite a lot lower. We might have to go and fetch another stack of cobble. Yeah, I think we're gonna to. Well, 1632, no, I need 48. Yep, need 48, not 37. Another stack of cobble it is. So it goes. A and yes, the count of uh, bricks I did in take one, I did take into account how many bricks I already have. So... And hopefully, once I build the melter, it'll be a lot easier to, uh, game. Game is lagging. Hello. It'll be a lot easier to get more. Hopefully, I can do something to melt some stone. Actually, if I liquid seared stone recipes on that, mmm, well, it'll at least save us glowstone. But yeah, it's not quite the smelter where we can use stone tool parts. So, mass automation of seared stone will have to wait until we can upgrade to a full smelter. Which might be on the menu pretty soon-ish. I mean... I, I guess the convenience of how soon I'm going to upgrade it is going to depend on whether or not the melter can fit a full block's worth. Because that's where I'm probably going to be sourcing my copper in the immediate future, is I'm going to go raid our... Uh, our current mining ship over there, and I'm going to take out those copper blocks that are inside of it. And if the melter can hold all of that, then that's a that's a very convenient source for uh, casting out tool rods. And I'll just use that to get through the quests until we work our way up to a proper smelter. But if it can't, then... Well, let's let's see here. A smelter uses our melter, and not that many more seared bricks in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, and then it's also going to require a couple of other pieces besides it. We'll figure out the cost more properly if it's determined to be necessary. But, uh, yeah, making grout isn't that arduous of a task. It's just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of running back and forth from the Normans getting these stones. I'm kind of thinking that maybe once they upgrade the fort, they're going to have a moat surrounding it. And that's kind of a good, convenient way to get quickly under the levels that they're building. And it's also a good source of water. So I'm thinking that maybe as soon as I have an iron bucket and they've upgraded the fort to have a moat, maybe I'll dig an aqueduct down to my base just 
under the village. That way I could buy stacks and stacks and stacks of things from the Normans and I could still very quickly swim over without getting like the the usual cart burden of uh, having to carry more than my carrying capacity. The other option is, can we make a saddle? No, we can't. If I could make a saddle, I could go tame one of the horses that are living in the barn. That would probably allow me to just ride them over. But no, saddles, even if I found one in a chest somewhere, it looks like they're unknown to us right now. Regardless. Huh. I wonder if that's the exact same amount I got last time, because I remember having to throw out three to get a nice even ratio of eight. And I think it was 43 last time, too. So maybe crushing up cobble into pebbles this way is predictable? I suppose it'll depend on if we get the same amount of gravel once again. Let us see if we get exact numbers. A little bit of misclicking. That's just how it goes. All right. Th yeah. Wow. Okay. So a uh, stack of cobble looks like it translates to uh, 37 gravel if you use your pickaxe relatively consistently, if not entirely consistently. Interesting. So next I'm going to need 12 sand. I already have. Good. Going to need 3 glue. I have exactly. And uh, what else goes into grout? Uh, okay, gonna need 12 clay, easy. And then I'm gonna need, I'm probably gonna need more clay. Yeah. It's always good to have more on the cooker anyway. Oh. Now that went into here, right? Yeah. There we go. And get that a cooking as soon as it's emptied out. Okay. Yep, that should be enough. What am I missing? I'm missing the troll. That's also easy enough. And there we go, a nicely big amount of Groot. Next we take the troll back again. It'll be very convenient once we just once we can just have all the tools we need at all the tables we want them at, but uh, we need more clay in here. Well, good thing we put that on the cooker. Anything else I should be cooking at the moment? I suppose I could start on some refractory clay to start, uh, well, let's see here. How many bricks am I going to need? Two, three, six, uh, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 bricks. So I'm going to need a hundred. Well, let, let's just start building what we can, and we'll replace as we go, sort of. <sighs> Cannot wait for Metal Bucket. That is imminent. Like, I think I could make a stone bucket for the use of making casts. Yeah, just out of the Mason's Workshop. 
and then there is nothing stopping me from making a cast and making it is it is so close it is so close to infinite bucket time no more of this garbage breakable bucket BS oh what wonderful days we live in what incredible technology we've achieved a bucket that does not break from the pressure of having water moved through it. Uh, and at that point, it's basically just a hop, skip, and a jump it away from uh, from having fusion engines up and going, yep. <sighs> Buckets are pretty much peak technology, don't you know? tasty sugar cane. It actually is literally tasty, isn't it? Huh. Alright. Now, Brooks. Ah, yes, and notice that we are also now capable of making the door Maybe I should do that. Yeah, let's... I'm going to need to make some glue for that. And to do that, I'm going to... Okay, so let's make enough pulp to clear out our buckets, fill them up again, and then we'll make the door once we make the slime balls to make the glue at the hole at the bottom of the sea. There we go, the ever important bottom layer. I think I should fill this out just so that we have the door frame. And there. There we go. And yes, once we have the door built, this should all be one construct that seals nice and flush. Ah, good. I remember I was having trouble getting my dirt walls to stack. That seems to have cleared up. Have you finished yet? I imagine that you have. And it's over in here that I'm wanting you now, yes. I'm going to need to make more refractory bricks now that I've depleted my supply because to make the melter I'm going to need a, a bunch of furnaces. Shoot. Well, refractory clay is relatively easy now anyway. How much does it take per seared brick? 100. So that's 10, 20, 30... 40. We had exactly enough in there. Let's put more clay on the cooker. We need to go uh, hunting for more clay. <laughs> Joyous. Whenever a tool serves exactly the purpose you need it to. Oh. And, and that's, that is one thing, though, that, uh, yes, I know that I'm probably saving myself time in the long run, but it, it feels a little bit awkward not immediately jumping to the tinker's tables and making myself tools that I can repair. Because that is ultimately what we're after right now, is, uh, the tinker's tools, but, oh well. In any case, let's pick us ourselves up. Let's make it two stacks of quick lime. Probably a bit more than that. Let's move these, yeah, over into here. Just keep everything 
over right there. And uh, crushy, crushy. Oh, this doesn't have the hammer in it anymore. Because it's over in Nya, which needs to be emptied out. Are these not stacking together? They're not. Interesting. Well, they're all about to be used up anyway. Oof. Powders are so heavy for some reason. For whatever reason, powders are usually significantly heavier than most other solids. In any case, just quicken all our lime. Which magically makes a significant fraction of its weight disappear. Funny how that works. And then we can go right over to here and insta-slake it. I think if I just uh, uses on this and then, yep. There we go. Easy as you pleasey. And then over here, I actually have enough in here to just do a quick batch. And then, just like a so, we easily get four stacks of clay balls, which we can then turn into a stack of clay. And let's save the rest of this for making a bunch of glue. Turn all of these into bricks, though. Yep, it is magical how much easier refractory stuff is now. Was that the sound of the... I, I heard a sploosh noise. Ah, okay, there we go. Well, this one was just, just depleted, I think, so run around and then hit this one for the second time. Yep. Just as easy as that. Restock our tables. And let's start working on some glue. No, that's not done yet. That is not quite done yet. I should run some of that through his paper, too. In any case, um, let's start making some of the parts we need, I guess. So, e let's start on the melter first. For the melter, we're also going to need another seared tank. So for that, we're going to need glass. And let's get some more sand. It's a, an excuse to expand the sugarcane farm anyway. As if I needed one. Hmm. Yep. These shovels are easier, but it'll still be luxurious when I don't even have to worry about it. When I can just carry around a bunch of cheap repair kits and refresh the durability every so often, or with a bunch of engineering and a bunch of cost, even turn my tools unbreakable. That won't be for a long time, though. Let's see. just lay out the field a little bit further with each new line I dig out. It's an excuse to gather up sand and to gather up more farm space. Multitasking. It would be more efficient if I just picked a flatter section of beach in the first place, but what you gonna do? Yep. 
Yes, what a lovely large sugarcane far farm we've formed up. And let's just get rid of those. Yep. And there's some more sand for us to make use of, most of which will get turned into glass immediately. If we're going to make some, we might as well make a bunch. Gradually working our way up to that post-scarcity mindset. Let's make eight of it. That's hardly post-scarcity, but oh well. Huh. Oh, we lost one. Now, is there any use for this? Not really. It can turn back into one-eighth of a sand piece. Meh. Okay, so this is kind of our building blocks box. And this honestly shouldn't be sitting in storage anyway. So, we need one of these... Well, we're going to need two seared tanks, so we might as well build them both right now. And that seared tank is built in the mason's workshop with all three of the tools. So it's going to need the hammer back. It already has the hammer back. Cool. And that takes care of our 16 infected bricks. There we are. So that's seared tank off the menu for the moment. Now for this... We're going to need the seared heater, and that's going to require a bit of building. That's going to take a bit of doing. Is it time to build our glue yet? Sure. I need to hunt more clay. The glue can wait. So... Furnaces. That's going to take a bit more, a bit more brick than I have. I think it's probably going to take a bit more pulp than I have, and to make more pulp, I'm going to need. Yep, it's time to hunt the clay. Never mind. I should make a new shovel first. In fact, I should make a new shovel and new pickaxe. Discard those nearly broken tools. There we go. And there we go. It is nearly nighttime. Wait just a little bit for the sun to go down so that we can sleep through the night. Hmm. Any other process I should get rolling? Yeah, those are compressed sticks. So I've got plenty in supply there. Hmm. I kind of built myself a nice supply of everything except for clay, haven't I? You know, we have an empty stash. Maybe we can use that for clay and build up a really big supply. That sounds like it might be a plan. All right, once again into the wild blue yonder. Hmm. I really wish I had a magnet of some sort. Especially with the weird currents you get from uh, digging underwater. I think that is something you can accomplish through tinkers. There's some uh, tool material qualities that uh, can give tools magnetic properties. question is if you can find something that's even more optimal still. 
Tinker's Construct is a munchkin's paradise. What a lovely clay deposit I've discovered. I might actually manage to chew through this shovel before I chew through my body heat. And isn't that a lovely rare treat? There we go. And here's why I was aching for a magnet. Anything else we're missing? Some over there. Anyone else? No, no, that's looking like we've got a nice clean ocean floor. So let's go back and let's see what the hall is. It's kind of nice making a little anticipation. Not seeing how full your pockets are until you get home. Alright, so let's get rid of just these lumps. Two, three, four, five, six, and a, almost another seven. Wow, that is a nice haul. That should last us a good while. Away with you. Uh, yes, this cider that we picked up from a villager... All it will do is it'll give us a few seconds of regeneration, nausea, and, uh, yeah. There's a more powerful version of it that we can buy from the cidery once they've upgraded themselves a little bit. In any case, let's, uh, let's get some more clay cooking. I need a shovel. Get some more clay cooking and keep the process a going. Yes, that's the trick the JBTA is kind of try and have your idle processes constantly cycling, constantly creating. And. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, lumps of refractory. Right, I was going to make some glue. Just for the hell of it, really. Try and make myself a big pile of glue. Partially because I spent the last of it making all the grout, and glue is one of those things you always want to have in stock. Partially so I can make a door for the pit burner. Which is another process I should have cycling. It's probably time to go cut the trees. And yeah, it's just really nice to have glue. Long story short. So let's see, with 16 of them, that'll use one of these stacks of lumps. Hmm. Do I want to? Yeah, I want some clay balls in my storage, just as emergency slime conversion material. So I'm going to need a stack of lumps, a stack of pulp, 16 slime, and that'll make 16 glue. Now, I need to start making the furnaces. Yes, and for that I'm going to need a lot more stone bricks. Which is also going to take a lot more pulp, so I'm going to want that cycling too. full three stacks. Might as well. Oh, I'm overloaded. Never mind. Never mind. Let me... Oh, 
They shoved me out of trading. Nope, nope, nope. There you are. There you are. Uh, they still shoved me out of trading range. Yeah, let's just sell one of those back. Hmm. Sell for two. Nah. No, we can't make easy money just turning uh, cobblestone into smooth stone. Sadly, that would be a money neutral process. The only thing it would avail us is it would, uh, if the villagers were trying to build something that required a ton of smooth stone, we could help them with it. Which, I believe their wall project is the only one that's going to chew through thousands of stone. And the wall project is a thing that kind of gets done over time passively in the background. At least when you supply them enough iron for it. I should have checked on if they were... If they had everything they needed to upgrade the fort while I was there. Oh well. How's the garlic growing? Let's leave that for a little while longer. More tripes. More leg. And more doing. Yes, I have I chunk loaded my base? Yes I have. Cool. So it just wasn't taking as long as I feared to get back from the Normans with a full load. Yes, you see, total losses of three. And that's with, um, I believe it should only be, yeah, a 0% for that one. And a 2% failure for that one, okay. So 2% failure, yeah, it stacks up more than you like over big numbers. So, first step is I'm going to need three pieces of tinder. Let's go harvest the hemp. If and when we uh, decide to go for a biodiesel build, the seeds can be used as possibly the best source of plant oil for making biodiesel. But then again, if I was sourcing it, if I was making a biodiesel setup, I'd probably want them set up, and I don't know if you get hemp seeds out of a garden cloche, which is probably what I would want to use. Is that a tool rod? Uh... It is, but it's just a tier one. I don't have any tier twos. Well, oh well. We'll do it slightly less efficiently. No, I thought there was a way to shift click things up into your inventory, but I guess that must be a mod. In any case. We're going to need one, two, three, four. No, oh, we're going to need four per. And we need a total of, I believe, four of them. So, twelve more of those. There we go. That is the heart of our furnace initial core done now next we're gonna need 28 we're, we're gonna need let's see seven times four yeah we're gonna need 28 bricks so let's just get started on that let's see here that'll make 16 yeah we need more pulp we need more pulp do I... The slime is done. 
The slime can wait. We need pulp for this first. So let's just, and then three of those. Make our bouquet. And get this going. Oops. Oh well. Yep, it'll be slightly uneven because I derped. Oh well. In any case, let us start making these bricks. So another stack of bricks should get us to halfway. Okay, so now I'm just gonna need 20 more of these and 16 more pulp. So it's the, uh, ah, good. Okay, and now I just need one, two, three, four more bricks. And there we go, four ovens. Now, for each of these, I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna need 16 of those bricks in total. So, 16 times five, that's 80. Wow, we have almost exactly enough. But we have nowhere near enough pulp. So that's just going to have to cycle out. There we go. And do we have 16 iron to spare? Yes, we do. We very much do. Good. This is going swimmingly. After that, it should just be a bunch of cobble and iron, I do believe. Let's go get another stack of cobble from the Normans just while that's processing. I need to check in on their village center anyway. And it's probably about time for my paranoia to creep up on me. Yep, there we go. We are still recording. Which probably means if it hasn't failed by now, I'm probably safe. Hmm, they need wool. Okay. Wait, no. Product cidery, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, wool's easy enough. Yeah. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Oh, the bricks. The bricks are heavy. Okay. Oh boy, the villagers are sick with something. And that probably means that sickness is never going away. Mm. Oh yeah, this guy, he sells uh, boss souls. That'll allow us to summon a boss to fight. Which, um, I think that if we defeat the boss, we win a life? Maybe? Question mark? It could just be a pride thing. In any case, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna experiment with that until I have much better gear. And preferably lives to burn. All right, so finish off our stack of bricks, finish off our refractory ovens. Next, it's just going to require 20 cobblestone and uh, 12 more iron. 
getting a little low on iron, but iron is the easiest one to get. And one tar of those. And there's our furnaces. Now these I should just be able to, yep, all that I require now is two flint clay. And I believe that was in the masons. There we go. Next, it's just a matter of, okay, three, six, eight. And behold, the melter. Ooh, the melter. Melty, melty, melter. And then all we need is one of these. And uh, one of these. And we even have some bricks to spare. Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful news. Now, I am going to have to go and find some lava in order to use the smeltery. Or the meltery, I should say. Let's just set it up first. Yes, good. Beautiful. Yes, even the seared faucet will stay in place. It's fine. Oh, wait, that's not the piece I actually want, though, is it? The piece I actually want is the tank. Yes, just going to take that with me so that I can fill it up on site. Now... I'm going to try and fill it completely. And unfortunately, because stone buckets can't handle hot fluids, each bucket of lava we pick up is going to completely weigh one. The tank holds four buckets, I miscounted. So, we need to waste quite an exorbitant amount of buckets. How's the daytime? We got some hours to burn. But the most convenient source of lava nearby is right near at the volcano. Alternately, I could I could make a refractory crucible and I would then be able to melt cobblestone into lava. Which isn't a terribly daunting task. Not now that we can very easily make refractory bricks and the like. Uh, yes, this is a nice little peaceful volcano. We're just going to climb our way up it. Get us some andesite to spare in the in the process, I suppose. shouldn't try to parkour. I'm not good at it. Let's just do this the stupider, safer way. Oops. Yes, and see, the peak isn't that hard to reach. And we get a nice pool of lava to work with. Now I believe that it's probably going to set us on fire when we pick it up in a bucket. Nope. Oh. Huh. I guess if you're fast enough, it's fine. Neat. I guess that just means that its behavior reverts to, like, um, I don't think I ever used one, but if I ever built one of the wood buckets, then a wood bucket can't even hold water. It'll just gradually break in your hand. It loses durability over time. 
I guess that the lava would behave like that. Either way, that was an easier task than I was fearing it would be. And yes, with the island all lit up, we should have enough grace time that uh, even with night arising, we can get to our bed without having a million mobs spawning. We just... I believe it takes time for Endermen to aggro. So, we, we have the time. Now, with that, yes, Melter is active. Systems go. Let's um, fix our mistake and then just, yeah, discard. Get some more andesite just for just for the sake of completionism. Eh, keep it as cobble. It's fine. Cobble has more general uses. So now I'm going to need to do the stupid anvil thing one more time just to give myself a tool rod. that. While it's doing that, let's start to melt some gold. Yes, this thing can hold three items at a time, but I'm not quite sure. 16. It can hold a block. We are not holding off. We are just going to be using this to make all our tool rods. Excellent. Excellent. Is this coming along? Slow and steady. Let's, uh, oh, these stack? Huh. Sure, there. Yes, with two pieces of gold, I can use that to. Huh. No electrum was in the pack. Yes, I can use that to just make it cast. I suppose I could melt two more and work my way up to an iron bucket. Why not? Yeah, what what was the uh oh, I already had it lined up. Three cobble, three twine, okay. And it was in here, right? Right. Yeah. This is a useless bucket. If for every purpose except making a cast. Aww. Bucket cast. And now we can melt three iron. Yes. And then we will have all the bucket. Yeah, let's keep that as an emergency backup. Yes, the heavens are crying in joy at what is happening today. Beautiful, beautiful, infinite bucket time. Are there any other casts that I can make relatively easily? Gem casts, I suppose. I should also make a shelf to put on here. Yeah, do I have any... Yeah, I do. There. And that can serve as a nice storage. Oh. Will it not... Uh... Ah, the melter can only hold one fluid at a time. Okay, never mind. Infinite bucket will have to wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Closer. 
I think that there was, um, let's see, what mod is the anvil from? It's from forging. So at forging, yeah, there's a brick forge that should do mildly better at uh, heating metals quickly, but I'm kind of, I'm at the point where that system is no longer useful to me, you know? Let's keep the pulp flowing just so I can make my glue. All right. Copper tool rod. Tool rod cast. Now let's make our bucket. Oof. What a lovely day. Yes. Nature is raging around me in discontent at what I have wrought. That is how I know I have conquered it. Beautiful, wonderful day. Yes, wasted a little bit of lava on that unfortunate uh, miscast of iron, but such is life. And, uh, once I, once I feel up to just making a, a, uh, refractory crucible, then lava is really not an issue. It is just cobblestone and fuel. Could just be that it's dark because of the storm, not because of uh, the sun. Ooh, look at it! Look at it! I has a bucket. Beautiful day. And what's more is now I can even just go directly from ore. I can just put that in there. It should melt relatively quickly. But yes, once I waste through my ore, eh, I'll keep ten of it. Really, I don't want to use ore in the melter. I want to go to my mining spot once the day-night cycle cycles, and I want to use uh, blocks. I suppose it is slightly inconvenient only using one of them at a time, but yes. That should be a half. No, it is a full ingot. Oh well. But yes, no longer do we have to hammer. We can just immediately. Yup. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? And now we can just. We can bucket without fear. Oh, this is a good day. You heard me, God. This is a good day. Yeah, screw you and your opinion. All right. Oh, I already have it in my inventory. And then 16 of these... And that should make glue. Yes, lovely pile of glue. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Now, I believe that I only need three of it to make the door, then six of those bricks, exactly enough. Just like a cell. And now we have a little bit more luxury on our smelter, pit burner, whatever. I don't have the logs right now. 
but yes. The thing about refractory doors is you want them facing snug to the side that will be burning. See how it kind of has this lead into it? But when you're on the inside, it's completely flush to the walls. That's what you want. So yes, now we have a lovely walk-in refractory burner. Let's give it a test. I guess these are diseased. And that's probably enough to make us a enough for a burn. It's getting to nighttime anyway, finally. Just take those exactly enough for a burn, in fact. And yep, we can just walk up, pile them up. Lighter up, and close it down. It is a mild convenience at best, but, I mean, it's a luxury pit burner. We're making it fully luxurious. This is the real luxury, though. Let's go grab some metal blocks. Mm. I hope that I can melt them without having to chisel them. It's not a huge deal if I'm limited to ores and ingots right at the moment, but if I can just put in entire blocks of copper and get out nine tool rods at a time. That would be wonderful. I need the Norman pickaxe for this, don't I? Let's see. I probably do, but let's see. Is this even the right ship? Yeah, it is. Nope, I don't need the Norman pick. Twenty-seven. So this'll be the equivalent of forty-five tool rods. Not as much as I would hope. However, there's also the stack of Ah, right, okay, there we go. There we go. Should not have doubted. Do not doubt the chuftiness of the ships. Yes, there's even some more iron in here for me if I need it. Once I have the means of bypassing the weight limit and I can just mine the whole ship out, that should be enough metal to last for a good long while in each one of those. And they are relatively frequent constructs. You don't need to swim very far like I had to swim around looking for those uh, platforms with the, with the quartz cranes on them. Those just, um, those ships show up pretty much everywhere. Now, I believe it doesn't use fuel when it just has one sitting in there melted, trying. Hmm. All oh, right, this is supposed to be metal blocks, not, eh, my sorting system has gone past the point of formality at this point. It has ascended into its own creation. But yes, even though the liquid capacity can only hold one ingot at a time, I think that these other two sitting here trying to melt won't do any, uh, any more harm. They'll just be sitting there. No, it's still smoking. It's hard to tell if it's using lava or not.
I guess let's check it after a minute. 600 still. Yeah, that's holding steady. So we can just throw in three blocks at a time and bring out 27 sticks. And that's a pretty good deal. Now, the only downside is I don't think we have any means of auto-pouring right now. So, the... The long wait of uh, waiting for the copper to heat up and then the awkwardness of hammering it each time has been replaced for this slightly more drudgy task of just clicking the faucet. I'm not sure... I, I know that seared faucets can be activated by a redstone pulse. But I'm not sure. I've seen in Riley's Let's Play, he just has a lever above these things, and that seems to keep them pouring. But unfortunately, I don't think levers are known to me right now. I think I've even picked up a few. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfamiliar. I need to. I need to reach the next. Uh, I need to read to reach the next stage before I can understand that. But this is still significantly better than the anvil, I think. Especially since I was just about to run out of the diamond hammer for... And, and it's, it's not exactly a pain to make more of these. But yes, I think that... Um, I think that this might be the last use we need of the anvil for a good long while. Hammerheads, tool rods... I could make bindings and um, guards and yeah these are some low end tinkers parts for making like swords and stuff can be used I, I think the I think the very next time we need to use this is we're going to need to make one of these plates in order to make a cast for it and that should be the very last time we need to use the anvil Unless we wanted to get in on um, making a sword early. A Tinker's Construct sword. The casting bits for that, I suppose. I would still need to build the uh, tool table for it, though. Well, 30 of those. That should be a total of 15, I do believe. So let's grab 15 of those. And that is going to need a stack of close to a stack of clay balls. Close, but not quite. So it's time to make some more refractory clay, which is a familiar refrain. Just take the hammer out of there, put the hammer into there. Do I have more clay awaiting? Yes, I do. Who is the lowest? You are. Get more clay a cooking. And there we go. Now let's quicken our limes at the proper station for it. How's that doing for fuel? That's doing okay. Sometimes I think that uh, the fire bow uses two durability instead of one. It's not a huge deal. No, uh, one loss. Oh well. It's not a huge deal now that we're using the uh, this thing for it anyway. I guess very, be very careful not to click with the bucket. There we go. Just as easy as that. And let's make some more 
flint. Am I out of flint? I think I might be out of flint. Huh. Well, we have a little bit of daylight to burn anyway, and it doesn't matter if we come back during the night time. Do I have any easier sources of flint yet? Not really. Yeah. That is another thing. Just about every time you eat a skill book, every time you go up an age, you kind of need to check the uh, recipes again every time you're making something or pondering making something and see like do all my uh commonly do all my commonly created things do all my resource sinks is there an easier recipe yet because as you've seen with growing technology things have grown significantly easier the refractory grind is so much easier now the copper tool rod grind is so much easier now. And, yeah, with each age you're going to encounter things that are going to be absolutely horrific. But usually by the next age they become easier. And if not, then... If not... If the recipe doesn't become easier, then you'll at least have machines to help you get to it easier. Or you'll have easier access to some of the base resources that make them up. The difficulty in this pack keeps itself fairly well balanced, I think. Alright, so... Smashy. I said smashy. And more smashy. And that gets us gloopy. And then we just go. Easy as you pleasey. And... Right, I need balls of clay. And then with that, I should be able to go into here. And just like so. And now, isn't this a lovely supply of tier 2 tool sticks? Made much easier. Well, that's a diorite. Lovely, lovely. Right, I need to be careful of that. No, wait. It was there. Where do these go? Those go into carpenter. Carpenter driver saw, okay. And this goes into here, yes. Must be very careful when you are shift clipping into these tables, unfortunately. The artisan's tools do not like it. I suppose I can... Well, I also need a shovel, yes. Really wish I had the infinite shovel already. Keep a little gravel handy, just in case we need it. And keep a stack of these handy. Turn the rest into balls. There we are. Yeah, turn these into bricks, why not? And that should be... We should be close to having enough to finish out the luxury pit burner. And turn it into a luxury refractory burner. Hmm. Speaking of which, it looks like it's done. 
And yes. Behold, the burn is successful. I'm not sure if this bottom level, now that it is enclosed in a refractory, and yes, the door counts as part of a refractory burner. Like, was this bottom section a refractory burn while the upper section was still a pit burn? I don't know. I suppose if I really wanted to... Really wanted to get into it, I could, um... Just sit in there and count the amount of wood tar I get out of it, but, um... No. Alright, let's work... Let's just close out the day by completing some quests. So, let's build us a stencil table and a part builder. Just, uh... Yeah. So, the stencil... I uh, guess let's get rid of this. Stencil table is relatively easy now that we have the central part of it. That's one, two, three, six, eight glue, some fences. Yes, we're also going to need to make tons of glue. In fact, let's uh, let's get some more slime onto the cooker. If the game will cooperate and stop lagging. Oh. Metal bucket. So luxurious for this. It doesn't matter that we're emptying it out. We don't need to make a new bucket for it. In any case. So those fence posts, those required just sticks and yeah. Eight four sticks. Fence posts. And I believe it was four slabs. Eight glue, what else? What else? What else? Piece of iron and the blank patterns. I don't have enough blank patterns, do I? Well, that's an easy fix now. That's just gonna require four leather and a bunch of wood. Let's just grab them. What? Oh, I put my tool rods away. <laughs> there we go. And now... A boop. Yes. The stencil table is the first part of making a Tinker's Construct tool. You uh, can put your blank patterns in there and then you can make your stencils. You take those stencils to the part builder and you use that to make yourself a part. And you know what? I think that is... Yeah. Do I want to continue on until I... No, let's save Tinker's Tools for next time. Let's save making our first awesome Tinker's Tools for the next episode. Because I think a melter is plenty exciting as it is. Yes. Oh. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. Let's put some more copper on. Just to watch it fill up. Oh. We finally have uh, easy tier 2 tool rods. Beautiful. Wonderful day. Melter achieved. Good night, everybody. <laughs>